Hi, Alex here. I want to give a quick demo of my uh, Fortnite diagram application. Uh, so first off, make sure you're in a WebGL enabled browser. I'm using Chrome that I start with the command line arguments that are necessary. Um, there are some instructions in here, but I'll minimize that for now because you can read them later. Uh, so first, some settings. We can make the width a little larger as well as the height. Uh, we can leave for now the cone radius and the triangles, but you can play around it later. So you can see, just click and add some points. Uh, and if I want to go and add a new point, you can click and drag, and you can place it as you choose. Put that there. Um, and let's, for time's sake, add in some random points. Uh, okay, kind of bright, so let's just reload the data a few times, which will take the data as here, um, and pick the colors randomly again. And that's a little better. If I want to add a query point based on natural neighbor interpolation, it'll show me the stolen area. So I can click and drag, uh, and you can see how it steals area from surrounding cells. That's kind of interesting. And I can add a new query, a new input point, and see how that affects again the uh, area stolen. Let's undo both of those changes. And again, that's decent colors. All right, and last, um, you can play with the motion of the points. Uh, so right now it's going to use 50 pixels per second, uh, random direction, but that's the speed. Um, and you can start the points off at random and watch them flip around each other. Uh, they're fun things. Um, that's nice. Let's uh, go back to the original state, and we can play with the user defined function. Of uh, this, uh, this will be um, sinus soil, and so you can watch them go back and forth, and give a little second to pay attention. Um, so that's all for now. I uh, hope you play with it some more. Um, a bunch of cool features, and I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Bye.